hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to make this very cute chicken bookmarker as you can see so what you'll need is you'll need three kinds of yarn one for the glasses one for the beak and the legs together the yellow one and you'll need the red one for the comb at the top okay and the white one for the main body so i use just the normal kind of yarn and also i used a crochet hook which is 4.0 millimeters okay so let's get started okay so we're going to start with the head and first we are going to do eight single crochets into the magic ring okay so we'll do the magic ring and then eight single crochets so one two three four five six seven and eight okay and then i'm going to pull the yarn to close the gap okay so now in the second row we are going to increase each and every stitch around so we'll have a total of 16 stitches okay so we'll increase in the first stitch and then increase in the next stitch too and then we'll continue increasing okay and increase also in all the other remaining stitches Okay, so now in the third row, we are going to do single crochet all the way around for a total of 16 stitches. So we'll continue and do single crochet in every stitch. Single crochet, single crochet. Okay, and continue doing single crochet all the way round. Okay, so now in our fourth row, we are going to do single crochet, then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 24 stitches. So we'll do single crochet, then increase in the next stitch and we'll keep repeating that. So single crochet and increase. single crochet and increase okay so you're going to repeat that all the way round okay so now in the fifth row we are going to do single crochet all the way round for a total of 24 stitches so we'll do single crochet single crochet single crochet single crochet okay and continue doing single crochets all the way round okay so now in our sixth row uh, we're going to do two single crochet then increase and repeat all the way round for a total of 32 stitches so we'll do single crochet one single crochet two and increase in the next stitch and then we'll keep repeating that so two single crochet and increase in the next one okay two single crochets and increase okay and you repeat this all the way round okay so now after that for the next six rows which is from row seven until row 12 we are going to do single crochet in each row for a total of 32 stitches in each row okay so you'll continue and do single crochet in this round and the next five rounds okay so i'll see you when you're done with the 12th row so that we start the 13th row together okay so after you're done with the 12th row this is how it should look like okay so now in our 13th row we are going to start decreasing 
and we're going to do two single crochet then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of 24 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two and then decrease so we're going to go into the front loop pull through and the back loop of the next stitch pull through and then we're going to pull through all the three loops together okay and then we're going to repeat that so two single crochet and decrease okay and you're going to repeat the same pattern all the way round okay so now after that in our 14th row we are going to do single crochet all the way round for a total of 24 stitches so we'll continue and do single crochet single crochet single crochet okay and you continue doing single crochets all the way round okay after that now in our 15th row we are going to do single crochet then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of 16 stitches so we'll do single crochet then decrease and we're going to continue repeating that so single crochet decrease single crochet and decrease okay and you're going to continue repeating that all the way round okay so now in our 16th row which is the last row of the head we are going to do single crochet all the way round for a total of 16 stitches so we'll do single crochet single crochet single crochet and you continue doing single crochets all the way to the end okay so after you're done with the 16th row this is how it should look like so make sure you stuff your head fully uh, because now we're going to start working on the strap okay and for the strap we're going to join to the two ends together like this and then we're going to do eight single crochet on both ends okay so I'm going to go into the next stitch and the stitch on the other side and I'll do single crochet one and then I'll continue into the next stitch and do so I have to make sure I'm doing it correctly two okay and I'll continue and do three four six seven and one more in the very last stitch eight okay so when you're done with that we're going to do a chain one and turn and then we're going to do single crochet all the way across so we're going to have a total of eight single crochets ok 
okay when you get to the end again do a chain one and turn and continue and do single crochet again same as before okay so you continue repeating the same pattern all the way around for a total of eight single crochet in each row until your strap is long enough uh, to your desired length okay and then we're done with that i'm going to show you how to make the other parts okay so guys after you're done with the strap this is how it looks like as you can see okay so now we are going to start uh, making the beak and for the beak we are going to start first with the magic ring And then we're going to do four single crochets into the magic ring. So we'll do one, two, three, and four. Okay. Okay, so now after that, in our second row, we are going to do a single crochet then increase and we're going to repeat that uh, two times okay so we're going to go into the next stitch and do a single crochet then we're going to increase in the next stitch and then we're going to repeat that one more time so single crochet then increase in the last stitch okay so now in the third row we are going to do single crochet all the way round for a total of six stitches so you do single crochet single crochet single crochet okay and continue doing continue doing single crochet all the way round Okay, so now in our fourth row we're going to do two single crochet then increase and repeat that one more time so we're going to do single crochet one and single crochet two then increase in the next stitch and we're going to repeat that one more time so two single crochet and increase in the last stitch okay and now in our fifth row which is our last row we are going to do three single crochet then increase two times okay so we'll do single crochet one two three and increase in the next stitch and repeat that one more time so three single crochets And increase in the last stitch okay so after that I'm going to go into the next stitch and slip stitch and then I'm going to cut off my yarn long enough for sewing okay 
Okay, so now with the same yellow yarn, we are going to make the uh, feet. Okay, so now for the feet, uh, we're going to start by doing a chain eight. So we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then now starting from the second chain from the hook, uh, we are going to do three slip stitches. Okay, so we'll go in the next stitch here and do a slip stitch. One, do another slip stitch. Two, and the last slip stitch. Three. Okay, and then after that, we're going to do a chain four. So, one, two, three, four and again starting from the second chain from the hook we are going to do three slip stitches so slip stitch one two and three okay and then to attach it here to the small leg, we're going to go over here in the next a stitch here where we joined and do another slip stitch. Okay, and then again, we are going to do one more chain four. So we'll do one, two, three, and four. And again, do three slip stitches. So one, two, and the last one here, three. And we go again here in this hole where we joined, we just do a slip stitch again. And then to finish off, I'm just going to cut off my yarn like that and do the finishing. Okay, so that's how a little fit looks like, as you can see. Okay, so now we're going to make the uh, the comb. Now we're going to make the comb, uh, which is the upper part of the chicken. And we're going to use this red yarn. And uh, we're going to start first by doing a chain 11 so we'll do chain one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven okay so after doing a chain 11, we're going to start from the working uh, treble stitches in the fourth chain from the hook. So we're going to count one, two, three, four. So in this chain, we are going to do five trebles in the same chain. So we'll do one, two, three. So in the fourth one, we'll do the first treble. So one. So in the same chain, we'll do another treble. Two. Okay, and again another the third treble in the same chain. Okay, in the same chain, do another fourth treble and then again we'll do one more treble okay and then after we've done that we are going to skip two stitches 
uh, two chains so you count one two and then we'll go again in the uh, third chain over here and we'll slip stitch so one two slip stitch here okay and then after that we are going to skip the next one stitch okay and then we'll do five double crochet in the next chain so skip one and here in the next one we'll do five double crochets so we'll do double crochet one another double crochet in the same chain two another one three and two more four and five Okay, after we've done that, um, we are going to skip one stitch over here. So, and then in the last stitch, we are going to slip stitch. So skip one and slip stitch in the last chain like that. Then cut off yarn. Like that so that is how our comb is gonna look like so this one we're going to attach it here on the top part of our chicken okay so now we're going to make uh, the glasses okay so my glasses I'm going to make them in black color first so I'm going first to do a chain 17 so do chain one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen and seventeen okay and then to make a small circle i'm going to go into the first chain over here and i'm going to slip stitch in the beginning of the chain you slip stitch like that okay so you see it formed a small circle and then after that uh the middle part we're going to do a chain four one two three four Okay, and just to mark where I began. Okay, so to mark where I began, I'm going to put a little marker over here where I ended my chain four. I'm just going to put a little piece of yarn over here because we're going to make, start making the other circle. So in the other circle, we're going to do another chain 17. So we'll do chain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 and 17 okay so and then i'm going to come here at the beginning of the chain over here just um after the marker in the next chain and i'm going to slip stitch like that and then we have the small glasses as you can see and then i'm going to do a chain one and cut off my yarn you can see so this is the little glasses so cute and then now the side part over here 
we are going to put our crochet hook over here just anywhere in the middle of the side part and we're going to attach the yarn there and do a chain 12 okay so we'll do chain one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve okay then you're going to cut off the yarn okay and then you're going to do the same on the other side attach the yarn and do a chain 12 okay so after we're done with that we're going to attach all the parts together okay guys so as you can see i've already finished attaching all the parts okay so first uh for the for the little glasses you're going to attach the glasses first and then when you attach all the, the glasses you're going to attach the nose directly below the glasses and make sure you stuff your nose a little bit okay and you can see here above the head i've attached the comb just right in the middle so the bigger comb should be in the front and the smaller one at the back and my glasses you can see they went until here at the back that's how i sew them and my little feet over here this is how i attach them so you're supposed to attach them on top of the front side of uh of your bookmarker so right on the front at the very last stitch so that's how it looks like okay guys so i hope you've enjoyed so guys i hope you've enjoyed uh, this video and this very easy pattern if you have any questions you can ask in the comments below and also you can check out my other videos and until next time bye